Hello everybody. Welcome. So today's plant is Tylecodon reticulatus. Tylecodon reticulatus. This little guy is a South African plant um, and it's in the Carassula family so it's related to things like jade plant and a whole bunch of other succulents. And it's an interesting plant. Um, Tylecodon as a whole, the genus is African and a lot of them come from South Africa and what's interesting about them is they come from a Mediterranean type climate where they get winter rain they come from a mild climate where it's not too cold in the winter and is dry in the summer very similar to what we have here in Southern California I'm here in Orange County in Southern California and this plant does very well here um, it will leaf out in late October and it is June now, it will drop its leaves usually by the 4th of July or whenever it gets really hot. And then all summer, it's pretty much dormant. It's asleep, no leaves, and um, we really withhold watering. So during the summertime, when it loses its leaves, this thing only gets watered once a month, and that's just to keep it from shriveling up and dying. But it basically is kept dry and in partial shade all summer long. And then when it leaves out here, when the weather cools and we get our first cool nights, we'll start watering this about once a week, maybe about twice a week. And that will stimulate the growth. Uh, a little fertilizer in the fall will help with the new leaves that will come in the winter. The interesting thing too, is this guy's in full bloom. I'm gonna, this is the, it was facing, this is the area that was facing the shade. First, I wanna show you the leaves. You can see how the leaves are getting ready to, um, they're shriveled looking, and that's because they're getting ready to fall off. This, this brown stuff, these are the old flower spikes, which persist. And they kind of form a, a protective covering. These are the old flowers from last year. And then here are the new flowers this year. And I'll turn the plant around, and we could get a good look at these flowers. See, I'll put my fingers behind them so the phone can focus. There we go. Great little plant. Cute little flowers, kind of greenish yellow. Very inconspicuous. And then these flowers again will fade and will turn into these little brown things. And these persist on the plant. And when the plant loses its leaves, it's just the succulent stem with a bunch of these interesting uh, dead branches. And so it makes a very interesting bonsai subject, kind of a natural bonsai subject. Um, you can grow it from seed as well as cuttings. This is a plant propagated by cuttings. This came from Petra, oh, way back when. This plant's probably 30 years old. No, probably not, sorry, 25 years old but it's an old plant and I got it from Petra. I don't remember, she didn't have her nursery at that time. She was, I got this at a Cactus and Succulent Society show. It might even have been a Huntington um, show, but a really nice plant, easy to grow for me here in Southern California. It's been in this pot the entire time. Doesn't mind being root bound. It actually does great here because in the winter when it rains um, here starting in October to about now is my wet season here in Southern California. It likes that. And it likes it hot and dry, and that's what we get here in the summer. Um, this plant prefers some partial shade, as a lot of them do. It could probably take full sun if it was in the ground, but because it's in the pot, it's not going to tolerate as much um, sun. Or if it was in full sun, I'd have to water it more. This little guy lives over here in my tables. I'll take you over here, kind of show you which area he's in. Kinda is sat right here, <clears throat> and I move this one around a lot. So right now it's getting some shade from this adenium, but once um, when the adenium loses its leaves in the winter, this is in full sun. So kind of right now it's in half and half, but I don't allow this plant to get extremely hot sun or conditions because I, it's in a small pot and I don't want it to dry out and kill the roots. So again, this is Tylecodon paniculatum.